After another son's loss, their biggest issue is clear they cannot stop anyone. Phoenix the final buzzer sounded late Christmas night, and Devin Booker did not wait around. The Phoenix Suns star walked quickly off the court after another defensive collapse led to another defeat for a team that began the season with championship hopes. With a reworked roster, the Suns have stressed the importance of patience. Even on Monday night, before a 128-114 loss to the Dallas Mavericks, injured guard Damian Lee addressed the home crowd, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and urging fans to stay strong. Stick with us, Lee said at midcourt. Trust me. Just stick with us. That's become a difficult request for a fan base that watched the Suns fall to 14-15, losing for the ninth time in 12 contests. Phoenix has injury issues. Star guard Bradley Beal, who was supposed to form a super trio with Booker and Kevin Durant, has played in only six games because of various problems. Coach Frank Vogel hasn't had his rotation at full strength one time all season. But no one wants to hear that anymore. Good teams find ways to overcome adversity. The Suns have yet to do so. Through 29 games, they have beaten just two teams that currently have winning records the Minnesota Timberwolves and New York Knicks. A bigger problem, Phoenix cannot stop anyone when it matters. This is a fatal flaw. After Monday's loss, team owner Matt Ishbia walked from his courtside seat toward the Phoenix locker room. Before the game, Vogel said he had talked with Ishbia after just about every game throughout this difficult stretch. Ishbia's message, according to the Suns coach, win the next game. That hasn't been easy. He's been incredibly supportive, Vogel said. Obviously, he talks through each game with me. He has a great knowledge of the game of basketball. We will have discussions about the people we're playing and the things we're doing on the floor and what the results look like. Those conversations have been very productive and supportive. Even so, the Suns' frustration cannot be hidden. Veteran guard Eric Gordon recently went public with a request for more offensive looks. Durant has preached the importance of reps, but his body language Monday reflected his team's struggles. In the post-game media room, Booker didn't bother to hide his irritation. Just poor rotations, he said of a fourth quarter in which Phoenix was blitzed, 37-22. Poor game plan discipline. When we do what we're supposed to do out there, it works. Then as the game goes on, we just lose focus. Asked why that might be, Booker said all five players have to stay connected. They have to communicate. One slip up will leave an open shooter, he said. That's all it takes in the NBA. It's killing the Suns. This is a scorer's league. Five NBA players, including Durant, are averaging 30 or more points this season. Through Monday, eight players have put up 50 or more in a game. Two have done it against Phoenix both within the last 10 days, both on the Suns' home court. On December 10, the Knicks' Jalen Brunson made 17 of 23, including all nine of his three-point attempts, for 50 points. On Monday, Luka Doncic made 15 of 25, including eight threes, to reach 50. We played both of those guys pretty differently, Suns guard Grayson Allen said of Brunson and Doncic. The Brunson game, I think all of us, players, coaches, if we would have gone back, we probably would have guarded a little differently. Tonight with Luca, I think we had a good game plan for him, he's just really, really good. A guy like that, when he starts hitting step back threes out of a double team, it's pretty difficult to say, like, what are you going to give up tonight?